Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC. Cheers. Delish. And today we got two packages. One from Beer to Doom, I think. I think. And one from an anonymous viewer. So, like I said, uh, we got two. It's a two for. It's a Thursday. It's not a two for Tuesday, but it's a two for Thursday. I'll take it. I'll take a two for any day of the week. Uh, so this little mystery uh, sack here arrived uh, the other day, and I haven't had time to open it. And I did. I knew I wanted to do it on camera. <laughs> I'm kind of concerned. This is from Beer to Doom. So already, if you watch the channel, if you're in the live streams, you should Beer to Doom. For context, a little context here for you. He sent me this. I think his name's Fred. He is a naked mole rat. He sits on my desk right here. You've probably seen him in videos before. But that's Fred, I think. It says... Oh, boy. What, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, my... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I... I figured it was another goofy toy. But if it's what I, if it's what, by the way, McNee's Mac 2, the most recent arrival, purchased this on a live stream a few, uh, last week sometime. And, uh, I love it. it, it I unboxed it yesterday. What are these? It's only that. Was there anything else in there? I don't care. What? Oh my god, do, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are these, bro? These are, these are the forest spirits from uh, uh, Princess Mononoke. Am I correct in that? These are literally the forest spirits. If you've ever seen Princess Mononoke, one of the greatest animated movies of all time, as far as I'm concerned, don't watch it with your kids. It's kind of gruesome and messed up. Uh, excellent movie. Uh, Miyazaki directed a masterpiece. These are the little. These are the little forest spirits. I didn't even know such a thing existed. Dude, there's a fart load of them. These will not be, be given away. These are going to, to keep watch over my 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 office space here. These are sick. Bearded Doom. What the f***, dude? Not even weird at all. I genuinely, I genuinely appreciate this. I love that movie. I love Miyazaki movies so much. Go watch uh, Princess Mononoke. That's your homework. But this is not what we're here for. We are going to put these somewhere where they can be seen. They'll hang out here with with Frederick. Stay. And the rest of these will go up there this evening. Now, on to the main course. Now that the appetizer's out of the way. Thank you, Beer. Those are awesome. I didn't even... Have I ever talked to you about Miyazaki movies? Uh, I'm pumped. Those are sick. Thank you. This comes to me uh, by way of an anonymous viewer. As you can see, this anonymous viewer spent $24 to send this package to me. So, what's inside which I do know what it is, is worth a, a pretty penny. Uh-oh. Mom, Dad. Look, I'm cutting away from myself. Are you guys proud of me? I know you guys get all antsy and shit when I don't cut the right way. That, that's why I don't cut that way, because... Because look at me. I'm struggling here, dude. It's a brand new knife, Factory Edge. It's a razor blade, and I can't open the box. I'd rather risk my own life than cut in a safe manner, okay? I don't, oh my god, oh, see, okay, we're good, everything's fine, nobody panic, let's open this up, let's open it, ooh, first off, candy, Kara loves it when I get candy with knives, if anybody ever sends me knives, send candy, you'll make Kara very happy, la cochas saber, so that looks, dude, I don't know what these are, but they look, they just smell like plastic, I don't know why I'm sniffing things now, there's that, some newspapers, some of that, we don't, let's go ahead and close this up, because there's nothing left in here. That was real close to my foot. Candy aside, we got some newspaper here. Let's unravel our gift. Our gift. Dude, this is like wrapped like a sub sandwich. I feel like I'm at a New York deli. Oh, you want a little gabagool? That's a salami. A capricola. What do you want? A huh? provolone? A little, little mozzarella, huh? Let's open her up. Black Friday sale. Oh, dude. I'm pumped about this. Oh, yes. CKF. 
Custom Knife Factory. I have never had anything from Custom Knife Factory on this channel. This is a first. This is not mine. This is a loner. Uh, but it is their most recent release and one that was very hyped up. I've played with the old version of this. But I did... Oh, God bless you. You sweet man. Wow, dude. They send a whole fartload of hardware. Extra bearings. Extra screws. Extra pivot collars. Extra everything, dude. I'm not going to bust open this because I'll never get it closed back up again. But literally extra everything. Uh, there it is. There she blows. Evolution 3.0. CKF Evo, baby. It's an Evo. Swaddled in this velveteen cloth. Bright red. This is Jesus. This is huge. CKF. Evo 3.0. Look at this thing, dude. Okay, this was the last knife I unboxed. Can we get a size comparison? <laughs> I had no idea it was this big. That's what she said. Look at this. I'm not even going to open this thing yet. Okay, there's that. Here's the FSD, which is a longer knife. But still, like, just overall size. Like, surface area. The Seagate F3.0, the Evo 3.0 here, kind of takes the cake. That is immense. Jesus. Look, at just closed. You can already tell. This is so aggressive. This is, like, such an unnecessarily aggressive knife, dude. Look at this beautiful kind of, like, rubbed finish, I guess. Uh, uh, I don't know what to call that. It's almost like these horizontal grind lines or machine line I'm assuming they're machined they could have been done on a grinder but contoured titanium very minimal hardware I think this is like a T10 T15 on the pivot those look like T8s T8s on the body screws big gnarly backspacer look at this insane jimping here some texturing back here as well where your thumb lands balk wild intense jimping here on the blade spine this little swedge, big deployment hole. We got external uh, blade stops there. Big, chunky external blade stops. Got the little uh, maker's mark there. And then the CKF logo right here on the show side. Massive milled titanium pocket clip. Massive. Massive. Everything about this is huge. It weighs so much. That, that is a dense knife, dude. That is so <laughs> ridiculous. I've handled the Evo 2.0 multiple times. And it's a reasonable size knife. The 3.0, there's nothing reasonable about this knife. And uh, let's just flick it open. Well, detents a little soft. Boom. <laughs> it's just... It's just... Unnecessary in every way. And I think that's why I love it so much. Uh, like, what do I even say about this knife? What do I even say about this? In profile, this is insanity. This is... Tip to ass nonsense, and I'm here for it. You know what I mean? I'm so here for it. Beautiful. Look at all this texturing on the back. So in hand, that's money. M390, by the way, on the blade steel. That right there, choked back. Look how far away from the blade I am. Feels good, though. I'm getting a little bit of a hot spot there on the end of the clip. But right there is fine. Choked up, massive finger choil right here, dude all day this no hot spots nothing very comfortable in the hand feels nice really secure pinch grip pinch grip yeah all day no problem kind of lock into the deployment holes there easy that is is so big i knew it was bigger than the 3.0 <laughs> i didn't know it just it feels ridiculous <laughs> It's gorgeous, though. So, I don't know a ton about CKF. I believe a lot of the parts are made overseas. By overseas, I mean by Rayot in China, I think. But the knife itself, CKF is a Russian company? Maybe? I think? Future me, insert whether or not I'm right or wrong here in the edit. I have no idea. I, I've n Again, this is the first time. Uh, so, lock up. Pretty solid, running on bearings. Oh, solid as a rock, dude. That blade's not going anywhere. Lockup's great. Really nice texturing here on the lock bar. Really easy to get a hold of. And that thing just drops. Thumb flick feels great. Reverse flick, the detent's a little soft. But on the close... <laughs> it's so scary. I'm so scared. Eh. 
Whoa! Ow! So that's the issue with the with the Evo. This is why I don't own one. Um, one, the price, 675 bucks, something like that. 700 bucks, around that price range. You see this point right here? You see that right there? When you close it, there's nothing to stop that point from going straight into the top of your thumbnail. And as a knife nerd and a knife lover, the top of my thumbnail is already in shambles. Can you see all the marks and all the little white bits in there? There's a divot in my thumbnail from playing with knives. So something like this that closes that violently and that little point lands right there, right, right there on your thumbnail. Ask Lefty EDC. He literally poked a hole in his thumbnail with one of these, with the Evo 2.0. So he knows all about it. But that being said, the action is ridiculous. I mean, it is an absolute drop shut, finger eating guillotine. No halves, no like double clutch system here. Literally no protection in, at all. But good Jesus is a beautiful, insanely tall, hollow ground, belt, satin finished, uh, M390 sheep's foot is what we're going to call this. But that is the most aggressive sheep's foot I have ever seen in my entire life. This is numbered number 307 out of how many? I have no idea. Blade stock's insane. Just everything about this is insane. But it works. All things considered, it's really not that heavy now that I have it open, now that I have it in hand. It's not as heavy as it kind of feels when you first pull it out of the pouch. But it is still just a behemoth of a knife. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Everything about it. I could just sit here and look at it all day. But we ought to cut something with it. Woof. And that is something I've never done with an Evo 2.0 or otherwise, is cut something. I've only ever played with them and borderline injured myself. So let's cut something with this real quick. Because I'm betting you. I'm betting you. I bet you it'll cut something. I bet you. I bet you a dollar. Yep, yeah, all day. All day. No problem, dude. That is just an obscenely tall thin slicey hollow grind on that blade man and this blade shape money all day the phone book doesn't stand a chance dude not a chance in hell beautiful beautiful the CKF Evo 3.0, uh, yeah, these are long gone. You may be able to grab one on the secondary, but these are long gone. They came and went in a flash. Um, man, I will be playing with this quite a lot. Whether or not I leave the house with it, I don't know. It's not mine. I, If I let somebody borrow a $700 knife, you know, I would want them to take care of it. So I probably will not leave the house with it. But I will walk around the house and flick and fidget with this thing. Give it, give the old sweatpants carry, if you will. Uh, but it, that's something else. That's something else. Do I kind of have buyers, like, you know, kind of FOMO right now? A little bit. But it's way too big, man. I think I would prefer a 2.0 for my own collection. But this is, it's just absolutely stunning. And I... First impressions, worth the money, $675, absolutely. For what it is, for how well made it is, sure. It is scary, but the action is wild. And the noise, uh-oh. I mean, you have to get out of the way. Good God. Frightening. Frightening. That's all I have to say. Absolutely frightening. Mr. Anonymous, thank you oh so very much uh, for letting me check this out, dude. Love you, man much appreciated uh, i'll take care of your baby here for you but that is it for me again first impressions there will be plenty of pictures on the instagram kara's instagram as well um i would i will probably do a full review on this one just because like look at it like why wouldn't i you know but that's it for me thank you all very much for watching and until next time bye bye now